Hello everybody, welcome to a review of the D13. As you can see in the background, I got all this stuff. That's you, it comes in this. This is what you gotta prick it from, which uh, took me about 10 minutes and then about 16 minutes to assemble it. And that is already knowing how to, cause I have built two of them already. So I, it might take you a little longer. Um, the company I bought this one from it did provide with one of these bad boys. Stop and take a screenshot, whatever you need. Let me adjust the lighting. Oh yeah, that looks nice. But I believe most of them don't because I looked at reviews and also because my other company didn't. But this one that I just bought it from is more likely to be a drop shipper. I don't know exactly. So don't accuse them, I'm gonna say. Uh, this one that I got is from Leafy, like oh Leafy. I'm not gonna fully accuse them of being a drop shipper because I don't know, but they did take forever to get to me, which is not a good sign for not being a drop shipper. But it was also from like some place in Asia, so which usually like if it's from China, it'll take forever. Uh, I just set up one back there. Let me get my lighting all fixed. Okay, so. First off, let's get into this guy's accessories. Um, they're different for every place you get them. So from Olifi, I got two katanas, two normal swords like this, just like swords, then two guns. And they have like a little hole in there for the little hole in the end. And yeah. Uh, and then he comes with obviously grabbing hands. That's how he's holding those. Why is this? Okay, there we go. Focus looks better. Then we got, why is my focus so weird, what? Uh, then we got some fist hands in case he feels like punching some stuff. And then we got some grippy grabby hands, you know? You need them, turn that light off, that light off. Just this light, Let's see how that works. All right, okay, that feels weird, now. All right, um, sorry about that lighting. Um, so yeah, that's the accessories that come with the Olifi I bought one from an etsy dude too and it came with a shotgun two pistols the other one's not there i don't i know where i put it it's over somewhere else and then two katanas and it comes with a scabbard for him that like holds it and then two holsters for the pistols but uh, i broke this one because i was forceful with it so i i'm very careful with it like i'm gluing it back together because i want this guy to have his holster and that's going to be like his character when i make a video in like three months or something i don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm so busy on animations. It's probably gonna be longer than that, being honest. All right, uh, let's go into articulation because that's like some of the most important stuff about him. So his head can look that far down, this far up. Then we got a little bit of side to side action. Oh, a little bit of side to side action going on. Um, his butterfly can go that far down and that far up and kind of go all the way around. It's a ball joint, the butterfly so it can get some really nice poses there. Arm can go that far down, that far up. You don't wanna mess with this piece there too much, so about there before it starts bending that. Then we got a bicep swivel, a double jointed elbow. So with the katana, he's basically just killing himself there, cut his, cutting his neck, but um, it goes all the way. And then we had a ball joint for the fist, which you may need to, at least on the other ones I got from the dude on Etsy, which is a massive design. I'm shouting him out because he had really good customer service, like beyond good customers. Okay, no, just, uh, that doesn't make any sense. He had really good customer service, better than just like a normal, hey, it was good customer service, it was really good. Um, but you might need to spin it around to get the ball joint loosened up. Um, so then we got like no side to side, but got some, I'm going to do both of them actually with these two combined for the ab, you get that far arch, this much crunch, this much side and that much side. So it's lacking in side, but most times you don't need to use that, but you might need to like, it, it's got, it, it is good enough, at least for this. All right. It is Lego that far in that far out can go oh all right here's this one that needs the ball joint a little loosened up just move it around that far forward there's a floating piece that far back 
and then thigh swivel. And we got a double jointed knee. And the foot is on a ball joint, so it can go all around. It can go that far that side, less the other side, because it has a piece there blocking it. Make sure you make that right. That far down, that far up. And then we have a little toe hinge. So it's got a, most of the articulation you want, which is the whole point of it. It's meant to be a super articulated toy or figure, artistic use, whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people are comparing it to sticky bones and um, stick bots, which if you want to see videos, I have both of them and I will compare if you guys want. So just let me know if you guys got a demand for it, I might be able to make it. Um, so I'm going to set them here and pull out my one from the guy on Etsy. I actually put it in a bag. So this is part of the good customer service. I asked for this one and he only had one that he already made and he gave it to me. So I didn't build this one, but it was, this one's super cool. Um, basically this company's, the pieces felt nicer uh, or I don't know, it's weird. Like this one kind of had some problems. Like the supports were easier to get off all of this stuff back here, but it kind of ripped also at the same time ripped a little bit of 3D printing off there. Well, it didn't on the other one. The other one, none of the pieces really ripped. It was just harder to get the supports off, so it took me longer. And it was, but like this one, part of it, like part of the heads ripped a little there on the side. But it was easier to make, um, easier to put together. He had an actual thing, whereas the other guy didn't. So there's pros and cons of each. I won't get too much into it unless you want me to, because I also have one coming from Amazon that was like five bucks, because I, I was like, screw it, we're gonna find out where to actually buy these from, because this guy might be a drop shipper. The guy on Etsy definitely printed it himself, because he's a 3D printer dude. Um, so only one of them are confirmed to where I know it came from, and... Um, yeah, so I want to make that, especially if you guys are interested, let me know. Um, overall, the figure's really nice. I'm going to get a, some figures in for a scale comparison while I keep talking. Um, so the figure's really nice. A lot of people are overpricing it and drop shipping it, so don't just buy it from the random people on TikTok you see who are doing the stupid promo stuff. Which I'm not saying the action figure's stupid, I'm saying the people who are doing it, are remaking it, are the promo stupid he was the size to a stick box since obviously that's one of its big competitors and <laughs> big competitors i don't know it's a weird competitor it's weird um and here's the average six inch figure oh that was not a good focus what is going on with this thing yeah i'm just gonna use these and shut this off oh that doesn't look good either I'm so sorry about my lighting. This is, there we go, that looks better. Um, so it's about six inches and uh, good figure for the price of you can buy it from the right people. You also wanna make sure it's supporting the right people. So if it's called a T13 or a Titan 13, that right now, as of creating this video, does not support um, the creator, Sousaphone, because a lot of people aren't paying his little, ooh, I did that upside down. A lot of people aren't paying what they're meant to in order to sell them and that really sucks for the creator so i would make sure that you're supporting the creator or getting one that you know is 3d printed from the right people and not drop shipped because a lot of them are on aliexpress for like five bucks and that is not those ones probably aren't very good because it's five bucks and then people are reselling those for like 15. So a lot of people you see on these TikToks and Instagram, YouTube, whatever, aren't actually making them. So just be careful. And yeah, let me know any of the videos you want me to make with this or any other reviews you want to see me do. And uh, that's about it for the review. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.